What's up, YouTube? Reg Fox, if you know me, Star Fox, if you don't. And today, I just want to go through, go over a quick way to have your information removed from Spokio. Is that how you pronounce it? Spokio? Whatever. So I was just, I just finished reading an article uh, where that the FTC uh, has fined Spokio for allegedly uh, breaking the uh, consumer profile. The fair for violating the Fair Credit Report Act, right? So apparently they were selling people's information without actually verifying if the um, information was correct, right? And I know every single one of us has, you know, done a Google search on somebody's name, whether we're on stalker mode and want to see what that chick looks like, or, you know, some people has professionally done it. Some whatever reason you have for googling somebody's name. And I'm sure everyone has Googled their own name and found that, you know, they got a lot of our information out there, man. So, I just wanted to do a quick video on how we can, you can remove your name from Spokio specifically. Keep in mind that uh, you can remove it from this particular website. They do use third-party um, information sources to, to obtain your information. So, when you remove it from Spokio, that doesn't mean... It's removed everywhere on the internet. It's just removed over Spokio. So if you kind of want to go completely off the grid, then you would have to contact each and every one of those providers, especially the white pages, uh, to get your information removed. Right? So I'm just going to type in my name here. Uh, I don't have no problems with you guys knowing my name because we family. I already know. It's Red Fox if you know me. So that's my name. Now for the best result, you would put your name, your city, and your state there. But I already did this, so I know I'm here. So I know most of you guys are familiar with this with this website. So basically what would happen now is if someone wanted to unlock the full results, they would have to pay a specific price to get all my information. You know, let me just show you something real quick. Look, okay. So look, they, they have a lot of information here, man. People might not want that. You, you know, some people be on stalker mode, yo. You, you don't want that. So, how do you remove it, right? So, once you find your name, I know where I am. I know how old I am, right? You go to the link. You copy this link here. I know how we do YouTube. No editing, so I do it. For you, then you go to their opt out page. So if you look right there, that's spokio.com slash opt underscore out slash new. You go onto that page, you scroll down, you put the link in this URL section here. That's your information, the link that you copied over from over here, right? With your information, you put that there, and then you put your email address. And mine's is uh, starfox82 at gmail.com. You let them know you're not a robot. All right? So, y'all seen that? It's fairly simple. You paste it there. You email here for the confirmation. Remove this listing. All right? So, it's going to tell you all that information you can pause it and read it for yourself and that's it that's real simple so then you go into your let's see if I get a email just to show you the emails already came into my Blackberry your request for the following URL to be removed to complete the removal process please click this URL or paste into the browser so you just click it Right, and it, it's doing its thing, and then you'll get this message here. So it's really just reminding you that it's not going to be removed from third party sources, you would have to do that yourself. But basically, from there, if y'all can see that we've received your request to remove the listing, please allow two to three days for all updates to be reflected on their site. And there you have it, YouTube again. Do a quick Google search on your name. Um, 
you know, obviously most of us don't have anything to hide, but at the same time, if they're going to show your information as far as your social media sites and things like that, you want to make sure that the information is accurate and correct. Obviously, for people, um, jobs use these type of technology to look at your background, and if there's some unfavorable things out there, you know, you don't want websites like this to just go willy-nilly with your, your information uh, like that. So, there you go. That's how you remove it. Again, it was quick. It was easy. Uh, they'll send you information. Uh, I know there are certain services out there that can change whatever the Google search of your name is. Everybody, go ahead right now. Do a Google search in your name. If you see that you're on Spokio, then, you know, if you don't want that information out there for the world to see, uh, have it removed. All right? So I'm out. I'll do another video on how to have it removed on white pages and any other um, internet site. You know, the goal is to have complete, be completely off the grid, man. YouTube, I, I mean, Google, stop that nonsense, man. Stop putting everybody information everywhere. Everybody don't want to be everywhere. You know what I mean? I'm on YouTube. I, that's where I want to be. I don't want to be on Spokio. I don't want to be on Instagram. I don't want to be on Twitter. I don't want to be nowhere else. That's just me personally. And I know there's a lot of people that feel like me. So anyway, that's a video how to do it. Six minute video. Huh, I went over, but let me know. Comment. Let me know if anybody in the comments know how to, you know, any information that's valuable for everybody else that you want to share. Leave it in the comment. Like the video. Share the video if you know anybody. Um, Google your friends. If they're up there and they got stuff on there, tell them how to do it. Shoot them this video so they can do it. Fox, if you know me, Star Fox, if you don't, I'm out.